Welcome back everybody to another video on Valheim. I'm back at the barrel chamber right now. <laughs> but uh what I didn't somewhat get on camera, I did record it, but uh I did, I'm not going to put it in the video. Uh there is that uh troll that we saw before. <laughs> I had to try to sneak past it and I think it's actually still chasing me, which is why I have the pause menu up while I'm talking. <laughs> But, yeah, I'm back at the burial chamber. I'm going to go back in and get my stuff. Uh, but I also did find out a new weapon that I can get, which is a uh, hammer, like this uh, antler hammer. And uh, it's a blunt weapon, and it's pretty easy to make, as far as I know. I don't know the exact crafting recipe. All I know is that you need... Uh, deer heads uh this special wood the uh, called core wood and then i think it's just some type of normal resource like flint or something i i can't remember but apparently we need to cut down one of the trees in this biome the black forest and it's got to be a specific tree so we're going to end up finding that here today which i actually think i see some in the background uh, but we're going to have to cut one of some of those down to get some core wood, and then we'll be able to head back to base and make this special hammer. Now, I don't have the crafting recipe, and I do believe that's because I don't have the core wood. Uh, but yeah, we're going to try to do that today so we can end up getting this burial chamber out of the way. I'm kind of hoping that this troll isn't still chasing me, though. Because that's going to kind of be a little bit of a bitch the second I get out of the burial chamber. But, uh, let's attempt this. <laughs> Alright. All I need to do is just go in and grab my stuff. <laughs> I do not need to stay there any longer than I have to. Okay, I don't see the one guy chasing me. I actually see some of the trees right here. I think this is the tree. It, I, I don't know. It says pine. Oh my god. I thought that guy was still chasing me. I'm gonna just gonna eat some stuff real quick, just in case. I really don't want to get fucked up. Okay, so I think these are the trees. We're going to try to head up here a little bit. Just try to get as far away from that troll as possible. I really don't want to mess with it. Alright. So now all we need to do is try to cut some one of these down. Did we actually cut one of these down by the barrel chamber? I mean, I won't be able to mess with it anyway. Okay. There we go. We got resin from that. I'm hoping that this is the right tree. No, don't roll away, you fucking bitch. Oh, that sucks. We'll just cut this one. I got core wood. I did get it. It's called a stag breaker. And it looks like I got a, a whole bunch of... I got sharp steaks? Oh, I didn't mean to swing. I got like a whole bunch of new items? Sharp stakes. I guess that's like a defensive type of thing. Okay, okay. We could probably set that up whenever we start setting up our defensive... Uh, our defenses around our base. But apparently we have more building items, which is like a log beam. Oh, it's these types of thing. Okay. That's super interesting. I mean, hey, whatever works, you know? What is this? A sitting log. Oh my goodness. How much did we get out of that? We got 11 core wood out of that? My goodness. It might be a good idea to actually start equipping this stuff back on, by the way. I just realized that. So we've already gotten 11 core wood, which I think is quite a lot. I didn't expect to actually get that much core wood. Oh, my 
My bad. I'm still running the hammer. I don't know how much it takes. We have 16. Can I f get a whole stack? It's getting to be nighttime though. Ooh. That could be an issue. Yo, yo, yo. Oh my god. Don't you dare kill my ass, homeboy. Oh, mother of god. Alright, <laughs> took care of all of them. Oh my goodness. Alright, so I don't know how much core I have, but my axe is actually almost broken, so this is going to have to be the last one I get. Which I have 30 core wood. My weight is actually almost full as well, probably due to the normal wood that I have going. Uh, so, yeah, that's about it. That's all we're really going to be able to do right now. And as usual, our place is marked here. I will be setting up like a little uh, near, like a little one by one with a workbench to try to help me repair things. But I am going to be setting that up somewhere around this location. It's going to be like right outside of the Black Forest in the meadows. Yeah, like right around here. And uh, that will allow us to have a little base set up. And we won't have to worry about that. That is one full near built base. Alright, so I have made it back to the base. Now let's see what we can do about this hammer. Um, where is it? There it is. The stag breaker. It requires a level 2 workbench, which means it'll probably require a level 2 workbench to repair as well. 5 deer trophy, 20 core wood, and 2 leather scraps. Fuck, we might need more leather scraps, won't we? <laughs> I killed a boar on the way here, but it didn't give me any leather scraps, so that's kinda, that kind of sucks a little bit, you know? sucks but we should have the deer trophy yeah we actually have exactly the right amount of deer trophies all right well I guess I got to go out hunting even more boar I really don't appreciate having to constantly go out for boars all the time but I'm actually going to sleep real quick because I really don't want to deal with all the issues of the stuff at night I'm surprised I haven't gotten raided just yet. Uh, honestly, I am would have thought that I would have gotten raided already. Due to me defeating the first boss. But I guess it's not the first boss that the raiding starts. I guess it's like the, uh, the second boss, which is in the Black Forest, that starts all that. Which is kind of understandable. I just find I just found it weird. So uh, before we end up fighting that second boss, we'll have to make sure that we actually get proper defenses set up around the area. Now I don't know how much defenses I'm really gonna start doing. I'm probably just gonna put like a whole bunch of spike walls now that we have them uh, surrounding this entire area with normal walls at the back of them. And we'll just see if that works for covering up this entire hill. And uh, I don't know what I'm going to really do with the rest. I mean, I could start putting spike walls like all the way around here and stuff. Because the front, I could defend myself. It's the back areas that i got to worry about big time. We did get a new bow, right? Oh, man, I should totally go check that out real quick before I start going for the leather scraps. I completely forgot about that. I saw it on the list. Let's see. So the crude bow does 22 damage. That's pierce damage, to be honest with you. It's not even actual damage. But this bow does 32. So instead of 22, it's 32. 
and its durability goes up from 50 to 100, so it's a lot better. Uh, this one only requires leather scraps, unlike this one, which requires deer hide, so that's a little bit off on that system. It also requires fine wood for this bow. Not, oh, it does require core wood. Interesting, so it requires core wood and fine wood. Huh. Wow. Do we have enough skeleton trophies? No, I didn't think so. Once we end up doing that uh, barrel chamber, we should have enough trophies to get the bone tower shield, which will help us out in the long run against a few enemies. Who knows? Maybe you can even aid us in our next boss fight. But I'm going to go out and find these boars, and then I'll be back with the hammer in hand. Alright, so now I am back, and now we should be able to make this stag breaker. Yes, we can. Um, just need this. I did kill, like, a few more deers, because I wanted to make sure that we have enough... Uh, deer hide for maybe in the future. Uh, I didn't kill too many, but I did get some that, you know, definitely did require to kill. Um, we're going to move the stag breaker over to here. I'm going to keep the build hammer right there. I'm going to move ranged weaponry right here. This here. And then we'll have like all of our building tools right there. We want to keep the axe here because it's also one of our combat weapons. Should we honestly keep the spear right there or... Uh, I don't know. I think we'll just run it with this loadout for now. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's storming outside right now. Like, that's crazy. I don't know how loud that is on y'all's end, but it is really loud for me. I gotta admit that. It is super loud. Am I even able to sleep through it? I'm not allowed to sleep through it while I'm wet, that's for sure. And the wet is gone. Ah, awesome. I can't sleep through it. Okay. Now I just need to set up a system in place to where I can have a bed nearby the one area. Or do I just go in willy-nilly? Ooh, I might just go in willy-nilly, man. Oh, my God. First, let's see what this thing does. Oh, my God. Hell yes. Is there, like, a heavy attack? Okay, so I can block with it. I wonder if I'm allowed to hold a shield with this. I doubt it. It's a two-handed weapon, I do believe. Yeah, it's two-handed, so it won't be I won't be able to use that. I've already used up some of their ability, which is fine. Now, I want to know what do I need to upgrade this? I need two deer trophies, which I should honestly have, and 10 bone fragments and another leather scrap. And more of the other stuff. Um, I needed two deer trophies. I only have one. I thought I had more. That kind of sucks. Let me put that in there. Uh, we only need the deer trophies, I do believe, right? Just the deer trophy? Yeah, I think it's just the deer trophy that we need, because we should have a ton of bone fragments in one of these here. We have four. Never mind, I don't even think we have enough bone fragments. I gotta recheck. Yeah, we don't even have enough bone fragments. There's no point in trying right now. We'll get more bone fragments from the skeletons that we are about to kill, I guess. 
I'm honestly kind of hoping that this works out, because if it doesn't work out, then it's going to kind of suck. By the way, I finally did use my Forsaken Power, which I kind of hope is off cooldown by the time we get over here. Uh, but, <laughs> yeah, I, just, I don't know if I realized how to use it before in a, another video, but I've never used it before, and I finally just decided to say, yeah, fuck it, I'm going to use it, and I used it to hunt down the uh, boar. It uh, helped me out a lot. Oh my god. I should honestly probably stop using it. Don't want to be using the hammer too much. But yeah, I'm wondering why that deer is all the way out there. I'm not going to go in there because then I'm going to get wet and it's going to reduce my stamina for like two minutes. And I don't want to do that, especially when there is a... Big ass troll over here. I really don't want to mess with it. Damn, that troll's all the way back here? So I guess it like uh, patrols this area then. That's kind of crazy. Okay, well I ended up getting wet, but I avoided the troll, so that's good. <coughs> and our thing is going to be off cooldown in about five minutes. It is not the perfect time to be using this. Oh my god, stop poisoning me, you motherfucker. I can't keep getting poisoned by him. Oh, he's healing himself with that shit. I'm, I'm out. Bye. Bye, motherfucker. Nope. I ain't dealing with your healing shit. You can piss off. Now, how much am I going to heal right here? Because I kind of want to have that health recovery going. Hey. Okay. Is it not going to go up any uh, any faster? I, I kind of prefer it to go up faster. Okay. It's going up. I think I can go in here with 86. Alright, well, here we go. This is our second attempt, this time with the better weapon. Let's see what we can do. Okay, so there's nothing in here. And my biggest question is... Are we able to place a campfire in here? It does seem like we are allowed to place a campfire in here. So now I could just do this. <laughs> Can we place a bed in here? Yo, it does say shelter. We could do it. There is a big possibility that we could place a bed in here and just have an infinite respawn on the bed. Oh, man. Well, I guess it won't allow me to do that then. That kind of sucks. I was trying to get the rested buff again, but that's fine if I can't. Alright, so now with this tool, I can't use the torch, so that's a little bit annoying, so we're just going to have to deal with it being <laughs> quite dark. Okay. Is there anything down this side? We went the other way last time. I don't like what's on... Well, I don't like what I'm hearing, bro. I really don't like what I'm hearing. What the fuck did I just hear?! Yo! Alright, there we go. Holy crap! All three of them dead. We're good. We're good. Anything on this side? Ooh, nope, nope, nope. We're good, we're good, we're good. A yellow mushroom. Let's pick that up. What does a yellow mushroom do? Gives me a lot of stamina, I guess. How much stamina? Damn, 30 stamina? Fuck! Okay, so yellow mushrooms are kind of good to have. But there's nothing in that room that we require, so we kind of need to go this way now. Um... 
I don't remember that being lit the last time I was in here. Just saying. Uh, okay, so now this is where we died last time. Okay, so now he's dealt with. Back up. Okay, are we good? Are we good? I should probably heal up. Do I have enough time to heal? My rest of the buff is about to go away, so I don't think I'm going to be healing up too damn fast. We're gonna try to do it. We're gonna try to do it. We're gonna try to go in here. We're gonna see what's up. What's in here? We pick up those bones. Okay, so we have another door right there. I'm not gonna go through that door just yet. Okay, so we have nothing in here right now. Do we have anything on this side? No, not even a chest. That looks like a spot a chest would be at. Pick up another yellow mushroom. <laughs> Alright. So we're we doing this. Okay, so there's gotta be more. I can do damage to him through the fucking door! Are they all dead? Good. Oh. Okay, well, we can get hit once. We're fine. We're fine. I'm seeing nothing else. Oh, we got another door. Oh my god, I didn't even realize that. Let's try to hit him through the door here. We good? I think that's a chest. Oh, it is a chest. What we got? I don't know what amber is used for. Okay, so we really got to watch out for those one stars because they do a lot of damage. Is there anything we really don't need? Honestly, we honestly don't need those mushrooms. We have a little bit of wood on us that we kind of don't need. Uh, we'll get rid of the gray dwarf eyes and the raw meat. We won't be needing any of the raw meat at the moment. I'll keep the feathers because I need those to make advanced arrows. I kind of want to heal real quick. It'll probably be best if I did heal. My Ikther is also ready, so I'll be able to uh, use that in just a second so I use less stamina. I want to heal one more tick. Come on. One more. One more tick. There we go. Alright, there we go. Are we still crouched? I really don't want to be crouched. Is that it? Is that what I'm looking for? I think this is what I'm looking for. Yes, this is this is exactly what I'm looking for. Oh, I've even unlocked the ability to make a portal now. I'm gonna take those skeletal remains, thank you. Anything else? Anything in here? Nope, we're good, we're good. There's more certainly cores. We got three. I think uh, the minimum was like five, right? Or 15? What's down this way? Nothing? Oh, okay, so are we done? <laughs> Did I just use my power at the wrong time? 
That was kind of scary, bro. I just heard some like skeletons moving around over here, but there's none here. So we got three. I wonder if those respawn. And uh, since we actually have enough space, I'm just going to take that back with me. I am seriously kind of wondering if those Sirdling cores do eventually respawn. Maybe they take a while to respawn, but they respawn, you know? Because this is like a permanent area on the map. <laughs> it would make sense that they would also respawn. But, as of right now, it uh, seems that we have officially completed this burial chamber. We got out with three Sirdling cores. A ton of gold, ruby, and some amber. So that honestly kind of helps us out. I mean, like, this hammer is actually really good. That's amazing. I definitely would not have been able to do this cave without the hammer. Okay, so while I have my power, I'm just going to try to run back to base. And uh, we'll see what is required to make portals now, since we can now make portals and stuff. I can actually probably see what I it needs to make make portals right now. It's, it's a buildable. It is a buildable. Connects to another portal with equal or no tag. Interesting. So it requires two Sirdling cores, 20 fine wood, gray dwarf eyes of 10, and a workbench. Interesting. I do find that pretty, pretty interesting. Like two Sirdling cores? Crazy. What was this? A ward emits a magic seal on the nearby surroundings that prevents other players from constructing buildings or opening doors. I'm not too worried about that. There's literally no players on this server. So a smelter requires five. So I do need a minimum of five. And then for the charcoal kin, I need another five. Uh... I think at the moment in time, the only thing that I really need is the smelter, and then we can work for the charcoal kin at, kiln after. Now, someone in my comments on one of my previous videos did say that there was a burial chamber at the other bl uh, black forest that was, like, uh, way across the water. So I'm actually wondering if that's actually still there. I mean, of course it's going to still be there. Can I... Oh, I always try to fucking kill them whenever <laughs> they're just sitting there like that because it's it helps me out and get that deer hide. Uh, but I'm wondering if that barrel chamber is still there. I mean, of course it's going to be there. I don't know what I'm really thinking of, but you know it's st <laughs> still. Uh, so we're going to go over and try to do that burial chamber in the next episode and maybe even look for a second burial chamber so we can end up getting both. I actually wonder how much of a, uh, how many Sirdling cores each item can give, you know, which, uh, how many Sirdling cores each burial chamber can give. Cause I wonder if it's more than just the three that I found there, or if it's just like three every time. Because if it's three every time, that'll help me out a bit to uh, decide what I'm going to do next with my next move. Uh, but either way, it does not matter. And snuck up on that deer. <laughs> Uh, by the way, as for the previous video that I said that I was going to start a series on Craftopia Seamless, um, yeah, that's kind of been delayed now. It's not coming out this month. I mean, it is coming out this month, but it's only coming out for PC players, and of course, I'm an Xbox player, so a <laughs> little bit out of luck on that. Uh, so we're going to have to be waiting a little bit longer for the Craftopia Seamless update, and then by the time it even does come out, I'm probably going to be board of the game and I really don't want to play Craftopia Seamless, you know. It, this is the type of stuff that I hate about most video games is that they say that this uh, massive update is coming and like you get hyped for it and then it's just like, oh, now I gotta wait fucking weeks longer. 
it, it kind of like ruins everything to do with what you're trying to do you're trying to get towards and uh that news like really did bum me out like I was really bummed out about that like I <laughs> I was really excited for craft OV seamless man I've been waiting for it for months and then it just goes out similar to what people are kind of doing with the Valheim update like there are like there's YouTubers and stuff that are saying oh the the new Valheim update is already here but it's not <laughs> it's not here I'm not playing the new update it's only there in the PTB which is basically showing no respect for PC players but uh can't really blame them because they're content creators and they do like their clickbait so I can't really argue with it <laughs> but as of right now we are actually done with the episode we've got everything that we needed to get done surprisingly in a good amount of time this episode might be a little bit shorter than the others who knows maybe I'll put in a good bit of my rambling in with it, you know, to extend the video. <laughs> but yeah, that's it for the video. I'm not going to keep going around. I'm going to have to sort out my inventory in the next video because I'm not going to do that offline right now. Because I'm dumb. But our plan for the next video is to set up an outpost over here in the Black Forest. And then uh, once we have that outpost set up, we can actually start looking for burial chambers over here. I do kind of want to explore more of this black forest because I know this black forest is large. So there might actually end up being another burial chamber somewhere within that black forest. And it would be really nice to find out. Now, we do have two black forests around here. We do have this one and this one. And we do have this one, which I apparently haven't fully discovered yet because there's a black forest all the way up in here on the unmarked map. I only discovered all of this. <laughs> and so we do have a few other options in going all the way over here. But if we go over here, we already know that there is a confirmed burial chamber there. So... I would like to set up an outpost over there. But other than that, that's going to be it for the episode. Now, if you guys did like the video, please actually leave a like on the video. <laughs> it'll uh, it'll encourage me to actually make more videos on this game. But other than that, peace out.